Hello, Gemini. This is your April 2018 reading. Give it a little early because I do not want to do this to our Mercury in retrograde. I want to get it out there. And hopefully your March has been good. But this is for Gemini. April 2018. Gemini. April 2018 general reading. No longer holding back, maybe. Gemini. April 2018. If you need to get a hold of me, especially during Mercury and Retrograde, you can get a hold of me, www.myterrorchannel.com. I also have the Instago app on there for iPhone users. If you want to get a hold of me sooner than, that, than later. But we want to find out what's going on in April for Gemini. Queen of Disc Reverse. Uh, is the overall energy is the Queen of Disc reverse. You got the Prince of Prince of Wands here. Communications with the Prince of Wands, someone who's a little bad tempered in April. Goal is actually the Prince of Swords, and this could be your energy. Maybe you're trying to turn that around. Oof, you got a lot of fire energy turned around. Prince of Wands, Princess of Wands. People everywhere. No, you may be turning a bunch of things down in April. Communication's going to come in. Let me get these cards. I want to clarify with these cards. We got the Prince of Wands. I'm going to find out why the Prince of Wands is turned around with Eight of, of Wands crossing it. That's communications either coming in or not coming in. I think they're coming in, but the Prince of Wands, someone, I don't know, maybe you unblock somebody. Maybe you shouldn't have, I don't know. Uh, or maybe they unblocked you. Some words are going to be said, I think, or very fast communication back and forth. And the Prince of, of Wands sometimes is very short-tempered. They don't think about what they say, and they they really, really passionate when they lose their temper. It's like a big drama thing. It's just the way it is when the Prince of Wands gets reversed. So I need another card for the Prince of Wands, and the communication card of the Eight of Wands is crossing it. Why are you there for Gemini? Why are you there? Mm. Yeah, you don't want this coming in. You don't want this coming in. Maybe you, you but once had them blocked or you were not making a choice on the situation and it got turned around. Maybe you were forced to make a choice, but you also may just drop it. You may drop whatever conversation you are having with this Prince of Wands down. You may not accept it. Now, in the past, you have the Knight of Swords in the upright, and this could be your energy. A lot of times when I get this card for my own personal readings, it is Gemini. So you're in the upright. You're feeling good. Knight of Swords is upright. Business, you know, as usual. Why are you there in the past like that? Sure, I'm not saying anything wrong with that. I just want to pick one more card for why you're even there. Knight of Swords, why are you there in the past? Upright. Knight of Swords, why are you there? Yeah, you were rolling. You were rocking. You were rolling. You were getting your stuff done the way you wanted to. You were trying to get things together, make right decisions, judgment calls, and then you get a phone call or an email or something, and someone is not happy, and it's usually a fire sign. And that's, you know, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You got as a foundation reverse too, as a uh, Princess of Wands, which is like, you know, almost just like the uh, Prince of Wands in this case. So why is the Princess Princess of Wands there? Why is the Princess of Wands there? Princess of Wands wants a collaboration with you, but you may not accept it. And you may drop it. Okay, your goal is the Prince of Swords. It's in reverse. Now why is the Prince of Swords in reverse as a goal? A lot of times when I see something reverse, it's someone trying to uh, come back to normal, come back to upright. And right now they're feeling reversed. And they may be, their goal is to say what's on their mind. Because when you get the Prince of Swords, and this is going to be your energy, because it is air energy, you don't want to mess with them. Because they can really cut when they're angry. So maybe that, that is your goal. Because you are so angry, you may you know aim to you know wound somebody. Or it may be that you're trying to turn that person back around to this one over here. Let's find out. Prince of Swords, why are you there as the goal? 
And that could be also known as the outcome. So be careful. If that's not where you want to be, turn it around. Prince of Swords, why are you there? Why are you there? You're trying to gain a victory. I'm thinking this is you, your energy, and it may not be. It could be another air element. But I'm thinking you're trying to gain a victory and turn this Prince of Swords around. Even though you may have your say and do your own wounding. You're trying to gain a victory. That is your goal to gain a victory. Doesn't matter what this is coming in. And you may, like I said, drop the situation. This person is possibly wanting to get together as a collaboration with you, whether relationship, work, whatever, hobby, I don't know. But they want a collaboration and they're not being exactly upright. You know, they're may be real temp really bad tempered. And they may ask not so nice. And I do see you possibly turning this away for good. You, you may not contemplate it, but let's see first. I gotta have another card for the Four of Cups. Why is the Four of Cups the uh, near future outcome? Why is the Four of Cups the near future outcome for Gemini? Why is the Four of Cups the near future outcome for Gemini? Yeah, you may, you're wanting to come out of the stagnant situation. I want one more for this because the Hermit card is in reverse. So I don't see you accepting the offer. I think you're going to turn it down altogether, possibly, and maybe just come out of that, you know, hidden mode you were in, that thinking mode that maybe this got you in and you're gaining a victory right here. Let's find out one more card. I don't know for sure. Yeah, you're you're not letting someone revive. I mean, you may somewhat because they do contact you, but it's not going to be what you want because it's going to turn you around. So if this is not what you want. You don't want an aggravating situation. Don't like don't let the anger come in. But I'm going to get an advice card before I say anything else. We're going to advice card for Gemini. Now, if it's in a negative card, it means you're to turn that around. If it's a good card, you're to go forward with it. A vice card for Gemini. I need a vice card for Gemini. I need a vice card for Gemini. Judgment. Yeah, it's telling you to make a decision and make a righteous decision and get what you want done. Let me give another one. I need a clarifying card for judgment. going in your favor whatever it is yep you are going to hold back whatever this situation is you're going to make a positive judgment the universe is telling you to do it and it's giving you the opportunity to do it when the universe says gives you advice it means you can do it it's giving you permission to do it and as it's four pentacles you're holding back and you're having sound judgment you're not gonna i don't think do a collaboration with this person so hold strong stay strong Keep firm and don't change your mind. Do what you want, Gemini. Do what you want.